Hola, good people, and welcome back to We Are The New Normal. I am Sam. It's good to see everybody back here today. And so today, I'm just going to give you guys um, kind of like a roll call of websites and YouTube pages that I visit that have given me what I think is valuable information. So these are kind of my go-to subscriptions, I guess, um, that give you a well-rounded kind of, whoa, <laughs> a well-rounded um, educational base when it comes to just being your best self, feeling healthy, feeling good, looking good, eating right, exercising, all of that good stuff. Also, entertainment is included. You gotta laugh, you gotta dance. So I included some of those uh, links as well. So let's get started. So, um, <clears throat> Under the category of, I say, like self-help slash psychology, um, one of the very first ones that I visited that I think is just wonderful is Actualized.org. And on Actualized.org, it's Leo. And all of Leo's videos are just Leo with a black background, and he's just dropping gems. But the thing about Leo is that he puts it in a way that makes sense um i hope no one's offended by cussing he does cuss but it's only when it's necessary to really prove a point he speaks well he breaks things down very organized and you can get a difficult concept very easy by the way that he breaks it down and he puts it into everyday terms and it really clicks and hits home and he has tons of of subjects so take the time to go to actualize.org and I think he has a YouTube page and he also has actualize.org the website which I think you can subscribe to and then there's additional content if you're a subscriber um, but the stuff that's available for for free is amazing so check it out all right so the next one is um, vital mind psychology and vital mind is with dr abdul saad and he is a clinical psychologist um, in australia and what i like about him is also the same thing very well organized thoughts um, and it's concepts that um i wouldn't say are groundbreaking as in they're different from I guess what we know from psychology but it's just that it is very he makes it very plain and relates it to today and it's very deep on a deep level that you didn't even realize that you were operating on and he kind of brings I guess the dark part of you or the hidden part of you, not the dark part but the part that you're the subconscious part of you out to the front and it makes you kind of understand your own behavior others behavior based on the underlying psychology so that's virtual mind psychology, Abdul Saad. All right. Um, Self-help, Tim Bilyeu. He's awesome. He's um, an interviewer and he has tons of people on there who are inspirational. Um, they range from people who are inspirational as far as groundbreaking health, um, medical, um, psychological, just um, business-wise, music industry, um, any type of success story in any facet of life, he has had guests on his show that represent that and just talking to them and being able to ask them, he really does ask the questions that you would want to ask and you get such an insight to that person and you find out about their process. He's very straightforward. He asks what we all want to know. How'd you do it? Can I do that? And he gets the answers and it's very, very inspirational. All right. One of the guests that he did have on there was Lisa Nichols. And I suggest that you go to her website as well. Um, Lisa Nichols, I believe, was from South Central Los Angeles. Um, and she, it was the typical rags to riches story. She was broke, single mother. Her son's father was in jail. Um, she struggled, but what made her story unique was that she, I think she was known for paying herself first. So she, you know, she had a regular job, um, I wanna say retail, and she opened an account and she wrote checks to herself. And she just put it in her account and on the checks she wrote, um, funding my dream. 
And so every time she would mail the checks into the bank, you know, the tellers would see that deposit her money and everyone was curious to find out who this lady was that was funding her drink. When she finally did go to the bank one day just to check to see what her balance was, she had something like $63,000 in the bank saved. And mind you, this is a single mother in South Central working a retail, or I think it was a retail job, but just a, you know, a minimum wage type job. And she found a way to pay herself first and funded her dream. She didn't even know what her dream was. She just knew she didn't want to be where she was and she didn't want that life for her son. And she was able to have the discipline and the vision towards something better, even though she didn't know what that better was. And she funded her dream. And she is extremely, extremely real, extremely down to earth. And, um, um, in your face and she demands um, excellence from people she demands um, involvement she's wonderfully inspirational and her story is just makes you feel good all right so that's Lisa Nichols um, the next person is Mel Robbins and she's a motivational speaker as well but the one that really um, hit home for me was she's known for her five second rule and it's basically talking about how um, when you have to do something and you find yourself procrastinating if you employ the five second rule which is five seconds within five seconds of you thinking about something that you have to do for for example you have to get up within those five seconds and go do it before your mind has a chance to talk you out of it get up and go do it and if you employ this five second rule in everything she said it was life-changing so that was paraphrasing it but you got to see her presentation it's wonderful and it really hits the five second rule home so that is mel robbins all right um also master sri arkashana ark Akarshana, that's a mouthful. All right, so Master Sri, he actually talks about everything more on an existential level as far as meditation, um, law of attraction, manifestation even, but he is right now in his journey trying to master this certain uh, technique of meditation and he's uh, studying with monks and things like that and it's pretty um, amazing and he's very straightforward, very real guy and he covers a whole wide facet of um, ways to improve your life through more of a mental and you know meditational type approach and it's great very peaceful he's funny he's smart and it, you know it's, it's really good information so master Sri, I've definitely put all of these links in the description box because I know I butchered that last name I apologize but we'll put the right spelling in the description box all right also I'm sure a lot of people know about Ralph smart infinite water diving deep um, he gives good information about now it's more of a, a focus on manifestation and abundance and things like that but he breaks down a lot of information that is hidden in plain sight I guess is the best way to say it um, to see through this matrix to see through the whatever this veil is that we live every day he gives us a lot of information to see beyond that in addition to just everyday motivational um looks at ourselves and how we play the part in how our lives go he also gives information about nutrition um about breathing he's um a vegan and he always promotes um vegan eating so um check him out ralph smart infinite waters all right um also abraham hicks Amazing, 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 um, strange, different. Um, the woman that you see speaking, her name is Esther, and Esther channels Abraham Hicks. That's what she's named it, and, um, excuse me, Abraham. And what Abraham is, is supposedly um, a higher intelligence collective that she can communicate with so it pretty much gives you an approach to improve your life based on the ideal that there is a vortex there is an area 
that exist that you place yourself in with your thoughts, with your emotions being balanced and being in harmony with the things that you want. You place yourself in this invisible vortex that allows the things that you want in your life to actually produce and realize themselves. It's a bit deep, um, but when you listen, um, it just gives you so much insight into your own behavior, controlling your own emotions, controlling what you focus on, what you give energy to, and how that plays out in your everyday life. Whether or not you believe that there is a vortex or that she's channeling anyone, listen to her message and look at your life pertaining to how she's phrasing the way that we behave and how our behavior is thus affecting our reality. It's deep and it makes you very introspective and it's nothing but beneficial when you're introspective and you find out information about yourself. So Abraham Hicks. Um, all right, and the last one that I just um, have been checking out is Wim Hof. And Wim Hof is somewhat of a Superman. He has been able to perform physical feats that would kill most people. He's climbed Mount Everest, I believe, with bare feet and shorts. He has been submerged in ice cold water um, for over two hours and his body temperature did not decrease. As a matter of fact, when it got towards the end of the experiment, he began to warm up the ice water. He was able to mentally control his body so that he did not go into any type of hypothermic shock or anything like that and the outer water did not affect his being. He's been able to accomplish this through um, shocking your system basically into kicking into overdrive. It's a breathing technique paired with an ice shower or an ice bath, a cold shower or an ice bath to kind of shock your system into kicking in. So it, um, the breathing technique um, activates your lymphatic system, which in turn um, boosts your immune system to kick in and help yourself heal. Just through breathing and through the ice bath or the cold shower, he's been able to cure people's autoimmune diseases, cancer, HIV, just through breathing and ice baths. It's amazing. It's worth a try. If it doesn't work, what did you lose? Some breaths. Try it. It's it's supposed to change your life. I'm just finding out about it, looking into it more, and I just think that it's it's amazing. In addition, I'm sure to modifying your diet and living a certain lifestyle with reduced stress and things like that, but he's saying that actually this technique can allow you to exist in any mode of stress and be unaffected. So this technique itself will be the thing that will help you reduce stress, which will therefore, of course, have ripple effects of benefit in your life. So Wim Hof. All right. Okay, so let's try to get through these medical doctors. These are the guys that I go to to get information about diet, weight loss, um, just about body function and how your organs and your systems all work together and how they're affected by what you eat, what you think, what you do. All right, so this is my list of doctors. Um, the first one is Dr. Eric Berg. Dr. Eric Berg is actually a chiropractic doctor, but he is really known for promoting healthy ketosis in weight loss. And you'll see that a lot of these doctors are all on the ketogenic diet. And to tell you honestly, it's it, to break down what a ketogenic diet is, it's basically a diet um, that allows you to eat and your body begins to burn fat because basically you take in low carbs. So once you your body has burned off, carbohydrates are the first thing that your body uses to burn um, and to make energy. If you don't have carbohydrates in your body, they're telling you that this ketosis is a state in which your body then starts to burn the fat that it's stored, obviously, because there's no carbohydrates to, to burn. 
So sounds like to me like the low carb diet from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, that's all it is. But there's just more specified information about it um, on how to do it, when to eat, all that good stuff. But the ketogenic diet has been linked to um, helping numerous diseases actually be cured um, just through diet. It's a basically a vegetarian diet, low carbs. Um, you can eat they meat and fish in small portions and um, it's, it's curing people from autoimmune diseases to depression, um, schizophrenia. It's, it's, it has a wide um, array of benefits because it promotes an alkaline body and that's the thing about Wim Hof let me go back backtrack Wim Hof when he does his breathing technique and um, the um, ice bath and cold shower actually the breathing technique actually alkalines the blood he said you are able to pretty much kick this in on demand the breathing the putting of the excessive amount of oxygen in your bloodstream actually does that so all right, that was for Wim Hof. All right, so back to Eric Berg, um, chiropractic doctor, but he, he gives a lot of information on um, diet, the, the ketogenic diet for weight loss and just for being healthy overall. But he also gives a lot of information on linking, you know, what the liver does and how bile works this way and how your stomach acid mixes with this and works together with that. He breaks that down and it, it it's a lot easier for you to follow a diet or kind of know a, a, a train of thinking like if he says do this and you don't have that you can substitute that because you understand the overall process how the body works blah 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 he breaks that down all right um dr bruce lipton he is he is a cellular biologist and dr bruce lipton um tries to show that his theory is pretty much the opposite of what we have always believed, and that is that genes affect behavior. Um, and he is showing proof through his experiments and through patients and things like that, that actually what it is is that the cell has an outer layer on it which he compares to a, a microchip or a brain that it is affected by our thoughts our emotions external um <clears throat> external uh, stimuli so um your environment your stress level your emotion your thinking um your physical state all affects the outer layer of this cell which then i'm sorry there was a beat which then controls behavior or then controls the person or then controls the body function, whereas we thought it was the opposite way. Um, very good information about how the body functions. It's from a different point of view, but it makes so much sense. Very good information, a little bit deep, but he does break it down well as well. And a lot of it is, is presentation style, so it's very clear. Um, and that is Dr. Bruce Lipton. All right, um, Dr. Sabi. Um, I'm not sure. I, I think he's gained a lot of popularity since the death of Nipsey Hussle. Um, but he basically, his approach is also um, promoting an alkaline body by eating electric foods or live foods. He says, how can you expect to sustain a live body by feeding it dead food, i.e. meat? Um, so he promotes, of course, a vegan lifestyle, but um, he also approaches this lifestyle from the perspective of the African-American diet, um, that it is different, um, that different people in different areas, different body types demand different diets. So his diet, although it can be used for everyone, a lot of it is geared towards African-Americans because he believes that because of where we came from there are certain foods that were native to our area that is healthy for our bodies just like any other race there are foods in those areas that are are native to those people's diet that they thrive and and function better on but just overall he gives a definite groundbreaking look at how we consume foods what foods do what 
alkaline versus acidity it's it's the whole gamut he breaks down vegetables vitamins everything it's very very in-depth information from everything um, from I mean he go he talks about women's menstrual periods he talks about erectile dysfunction he talks about depression he talks about um, lupus cancer HIV he was actually taken to the Supreme Court because he had claims that he could click so he could uh, cure all these diseases they took him to the Supreme Court and he actually won his case I believe that he was supposed to provide the court with maybe five uh, people that he proved that were cured of this, this disease he had over 75 people that he was able to prove that through his method of eating and also meditation um, that these people were cured of these diseases so amazing 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 information that you can start doing today you can start doing today the, the a lot of the foods that he does recommend are different foods but if you go online and also if you go I'll put a link to his uh, website and his daughter's website since he's passed um, <clears throat> the business has been continued by his wife and his daughter and they both have separate um, websites and I believe that they have separate facilities in the south um, one is in Atlanta and I'm not sure where the mom's um, office is but I will put the link to all of those they have the products available through their their websites and then there's also I'll put a link to this um, <clears throat> natural light is also it's a store in this area but they have a website and there's a lot of the foods um, the leaves the greens the nuts the uh, flowers and butters and spices and all of the things that he references a lot of those are sold on that website so I'll make sure that I include that link as well dr. Sebi s-e-b-i all right next I have Thomas DeLauer Thomas DeLauer um, young man who I believe is a celebrity trainer and things of that such but what um, sticks out for me is that he was over a hundred pounds overweight he was actually working in the healthcare industry and in the fitness industry and he was overweight and depressed bad acne on his face you could just see that he was an unhappy person now he's a big guy he was about he looks about six five and he was almost 300 pounds and he was unhappy he lost over a hundred pounds um, and he's showing people how he did it but he also is very very knowledgeable on the body on how the body works together more on um, the functions of the body when I think of like um, the metabolism process what organs are involved what chemicals in the body are involved what food feeds that what vitamins are needed deficiencies all of that good information and he also has a link to his store um, which sells a lot of the products that he um, talks about um, like better salts and and things like that um, you can get that and I believe he also has a um, service where he puts together boxes for you for a certain reason so I'll put the link for his um, website and his name is Thomas DeLauer alrighty so we have also four cycles of life.com this gentleman um, speaks about herbs he is uh, just a master of herbs and how they help the body um, how they can be used to heal um, cure and what it does and how it works in the body very knowledgeable on bodily function on organ functions and systems and very knowledgeable on a wide array of herbs so check him out um, his page is four cycles of life.com for the number four cycles of life.com and lastly I have the motivational doc and I cannot remember his first name but um, he covers everything chiropractic doctor he tells you about posture how to correct your own you know neck and shoulder problems and things like that with everyday objects at home um, he also gives a lot of information on diet when it comes to things like um, lemon water and apple cider vinegar um, he gives a lot of information on magnesium deficiencies something that a lot of people have and don't realize 
um, the importance of vitamin D, um, CoQ10 and fish oil. He breaks down all of those things. He tells you how to have healthy eyes. He tells you how to work on sagging skin. He tells you it's kind of like a life biohack, you know, encyclopedia. And he breaks down every little thing. It's a ton of, of, of good topics and they're pretty short videos. Most of them are between, you know, three and eight minutes. So you can get a couple in without feeling like you've spent the whole day watching videos. And his name is The Motivational Doc. All right. So we got through all of that. Those are pretty much my go-to websites um, that get me through keeping my body healthy, keeping my mind healthy, my outlook on life and you know motivation and just keeping my mind open and expanded um, with just different schools of thought. You know, just you don't have to accept everything, but a lot of times just listening to a different point of view, once again, gives you that look in the dark and it just exposes a whole new world to you and it can definitely change your life whether you choose to employ that or not alrighty so lastly um, a couple that I'm gonna give you as far as entertainment that I enjoyed um, Joe Rogan's po podcast Joe Rogan's podcast is I, I mean a hodgepodge of topics and people and celebrities and I, if you guys remember Joe Rogan from Fear Factor he's kinda witty and smart and funny but he's really intelligent and he I think you'd be surprised at the wide array of topics that he covers with a sense of humor but with the appropriate amount of seriousness and urgency or whatever for the issue very very good podcast very enjoyable um, also check out Robert Glasper Robert Glasper is um, a jazz artist but he does a lot of work with hip-hop artists and his latest his latest work is F your feelings I know it's terrible but um, it's very in your face it's very jazz and hip-hop improvisational and it's really good but check out everything he has such an extensive library and he has contributed to so many other artists work that you get a little taste of everything very very well-rounded full um, hip-hop jazz artist um, excellent Robert Glasper all right another jazz artist that I like is Roy, Roy Hargrove Roy Hargrove younger jazz artist he plays the trumpet and it's very jazz infused with hip-hop and Latin and anything that he's feeling at the moment and it's very well-rounded um, modern jazz I love it Roy Hargrove all right um, also check out Snarky Puppy featuring Layla Hathaway. One of my favorite, favorite performances, live performances, excellent, wonderful. The band is amazing. The whole vibe in there is great. And then the highlight of it is Layla Hathaway, Donnie Hathaway's daughter. Layla Hathaway harmonizes with herself. She harmonizes with herself towards the end of the song and she is giving it. It just is a feel good build up good vibe and then at the end you just like yes she did that harmonizes with herself amazing artist you can check out a lot of um, her songs and collaborations that she's done over the years amazing beautiful voice and snarky puppy is a wonderful jazz ensemble um, I want to say that one was probably about a 20 piece and um, wonderful music very different modern jazz good vibe good feeling check them out snarky puppy this one is featuring Layla Hathaway um, <clears throat> also tiny desk a favorite I'm sure a lot of people know about it but just a nice different intimate look at your favorite artist um, up close and personal a lot of them get nervous in that environment and it's just good to see them be human and, and be real and it's always a good experience so check it out from NPR tiny desk all right and um, lastly it's a book it's called psycho cybernetics um, there is a link on YouTube for the full book I will put that link down there and um, very interesting book that I'm just starting and it is a look obviously within um, so I'm just getting started on that one so if anybody would like to get started on that one with me check it out um, go online google it and you'll get the breakdown of what it is it's honestly 
a lot for me to even explain right here but i'm gonna get started on it hopefully you'll get started on it and maybe that's something that we can discuss so psycho cybernetics all right check it out so all right so we finally got through that roll call and um now the gem that i would like to drop on you today is simply but is it beneficial this is something that um leo talked about on actualize.org um a lot of what we do and a lot of how we act or react is very natural very human um someone hits you and hurts you it is very human and natural for you to hit them back but is it beneficial is what you are doing although acceptable because it is natural and human is what you're about to do and the way that you are about to react beneficial let that melt on your mind so you see me out here enjoying my sunshine as usual thanks for coming to see me today i hope that you have a wonderful beginning to a wonderful week because you are good people have a good life